Hi there, I'm Dr. Andrea Schanowski here with Health and Horsepower, and I'm really excited because it's a new year. A lot of us have flipped our calendars, and we are ready for setting up our year for the perfect life, the perfect health goals, and the perfect family, and the per perfect relationship. But in reality, we know that life isn't perfect. So what I want to do today is talk a little bit more about New Year's goals and resolutions and four things that you can do to make your New Year's resolutions less overwhelming. So about 80% of the time, by the end of January, most people have already given up on the resolutions. I think a lot of that is not because we're lazy. It's not because we overestimated our commitment. It's not because we had awful goals. It may just be because when we set a goal, we have little baby steps to get us moving in the right direction. If we try to change too much at once, it can be overwhelming. And then we give up on everything rather than slowly moving towards that goal. So one of the things that I want to do this year is try to make your life a little easier. And if you have a goal in mind for what you want to do for your health and your body, I want to help you with that. So if those of you are trying to lose weight or tone up or just uh, simply fit into smaller clothing sizes, I want to actually help you reach that goal by helping you make baby steps. So um, the biggest thing I usually say is we want to find a baseline. So the four things that we need to do to make sure that we are kind of making our New Year's goals less overwhelming is number one, find a baseline. Figure out where you're at so that you know where you need to go from there and we can make baby steps to get there. So in our office, uh, for those of you that are trying to lose weight or tone up or anything like that, we have a free body composition consultation that we're going to be doing in offering in the month of January. So you can set up an appointment, come into our office. We're going to actually do body measurements. We're going to use a tape measure to measure at multiple areas of your body. We're also going to check uh, body fat percentages. We're going to figure out your basal metabolic rate so we know how many calories your body is using right now. Because a lot of times when people are trying to lose weight, they tend to restrict calories but in reality, that can put your body into starvation mode and actually decrease your metabolism so it makes it easier for you to gain weight once you're done uh, working on an exercise program. So it's very hard when you are not getting the right tools and things in your process that you may lose weight initially, but then if your metabolism has been destroyed and you've lost muscle mass, what will happen is you lose or after you've lost the weight, you gain it back very quickly. So this body composition is not a BMI. So BMI, I think, is a complete lie. Um, a lot of times when we look at BMI, uh, it is only based on your height and your weight and doesn't take any consideration into fact your activity level, your muscle mass, um, if you have any family history or even muscle types that run in your families or body types that run in your families. That doesn't take any of that into consideration. There are some people uh, that will have more muscle mass and less fat mass, but if they're a certain weight, they're going to be considered morbidly obese. I am one of those. I was told even when I was an avid athlete playing three, four sports year round and working out three to four hours a day between practice and the gym that I was morbidly obese. So as a child and teenager growing up, basically being told that I am overweight and fat constantly, it was very discouraging for me. So it seemed like no matter what I did and how healthy I felt, I was always considered and kind of look, felt, looked and felt degraded a little bit when I went to the doctor's office. So what I want to do is I want to help you embrace your body type and figure out a plan to actually lose inches. Um, when we do this baseline measurement in our office, we're going to know not only what your BMI is, even if it doesn't change, but we're going to figure out how your body makeup is changing. So we'll know if we start checking in, say you want to come in maybe once a month or once every six weeks and get those measurements redone, we know how many inches you're losing so we can actually see your body shrink and wear. So we know where you're losing weight at. We can actually measure how much muscle you have gained so we know how much you've increased your metabolism we can measure how many pounds of fat you've lost so you actually know you're meeting your goals a lot of times in the first six to eight weeks of an exercise program you are going to lose water weight and you're going to lose fat but you're going to build muscle so in reality your scale weight may stay the same so uh, we're offering that consultation like i said just the month of january so make sure you either call our office 309-689-6200 to set that up or you can go on our website, freedompeoria.org. In the new patient tab, you can actually request an appointment to do that free consultation. Um, if you feel like you need more help, we can also sit down with you after that consultation, going over some recommendations for dietary changes, exercise changes. If you need some more help uh, or more hands-on help with meal planning 
or figuring out what you need to do at the gym or what type of exercises you need to be doing to actually increase and boost your metabolism, we can provide some resources and some guidelines for you with that as well. Number two, you want to make sure if you are trying to change your body this year, you want to take a supplement that is going to help you to target fat loss so that your body is using fat as an energy source. So you're losing fat as you're gaining the muscle because then you're going to have a higher metabolism. It'll be easier for that melt to or that weight to melt off you later on when those muscles are active and doing their job. Number three, if you have not done a cleanse, it is a really good idea to do a cleanse because if you have toxins that are being stored inside of your cells, your body will actually hold water in that cell to help actually uh, kind of depress that toxin activity and it'll lower metabolism so your body cannot break down that cell. And most of the time these toxins are stored in fat cells. So if you tend to have fat that is really stubborn and doesn't want to get lost, chances are you may actually have some toxins inside of those fat cells and water weight inside of those fat cells and your body is not letting you get rid of it because it doesn't want to release that toxin and cause health issues for you. So it's a body's protective mechanism. So I usually recommend doing a cleanse at least once a year. Uh, most cleanses out there are fiber and a laxative, so you're stuck by a toilet or you might be doing a pretty restrictive diet where you might only be having juice or a shake and that's it. Um, I am a big proponent of doing a gradual cleanse, so basically doing some dietary changes and eating real food as we do a small cleanse. Uh, we have a product called BioCleanse that we use here in the office that helps to target and actually eliminate those toxins from your cells so that your liver can get rid of it. In some cases, you may even need some liver support. So if you've had lab work done, if your cholesterol levels are off, if your liver enzymes are elevated, chances are you may need help not only getting rid of those toxins, but supporting your liver to actually eliminate those from the body. Um, sometimes that is a combo of fiber as well as vitamin C and vitamin B. Um, typically, I recommend along with that bio cleanse, we also want to do a uh, number four, which is our um, immune support, is a, a vitamin C that is actually an active form of vitamin C. So a lot of vitamin C out there is ascorbic acid, which is usually synthetic, made in a lab from corn. It's actually inflammatory and has a lot of high allergy content for some people. So usually I recommend uh, the weight loss trio, which is what we have in our office. Uh, it is Metatrim, which is going to help you target that fat loss. That was our number two. We have the BioCleanse to target the toxins from lim lim elimination. That's number three. And Active C, which is an active form of vitamin C. It is a buffered form, not ascorbic acid, that's going to help your liver to get rid of things and also help prevent any damage from those toxins in your body. So if you need help this year with making your weight loss goals a little bit less overwhelming, number one, get a baseline. Number two, make sure you are targeting fat loss not just restricting calories because that can actually lose muscle mass and work against you. Number three, we want to make sure we have toxins being removed. And number four, supporting your immune system with a high quality vitamin C. And potentially, you may need more than just those things. But those are the things that I recommend to make your New Year's goals a little bit less overwhelming. So stop into our office. You can pick up some of the Metatrim, the BioCleanse, or the Active C or set up a consultation for the free body consultation so that we can actually figure out what's going on with your body composition and set some goals that are realistic so we can track those easily and you don't get discouraged along the way. So thanks for tuning in to Health and Horsepower. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and leave a comment below if you have tried other products or tried another diet or are trying to lose weight and have failed in the past. We want to know how you're going to do better this year.